okay hey hi everyone first of all very good evening welcome to hr top of family all the old members and students thank you for coming on this time at a very given short period so let's start directly for what we all are here today we are launching business partner hr so before that i just want to know how many people are aware about this profile which is a trending profile recently i cannot say recently but recently the best everyone today wants to become a business partner hr can anyone tell me why see it's a interactive session this is not a lecture again i'm telling so let's make it interactive it's not a lecture which i'm going to give it to you so can anyone share why it is trending nowadays why people are going behind are not generalist now you're going to business partner anyone wants to share don't look here and there just share what you know what is business partner hr yes uh, meshwari to uh, grow the business as well as the hr part grow the business as well as the hr part okay what about others can you add value to it sir it is to uh, the people management is not only our target we need to align the organizational strategy with the people management uh, activities okay. so, to, okay. so that the organization vision mission everything the goal can be achieved so the target can be achieved uh, by understand by making the people understanding the uh, understanding the task and uh, what is our aim strategy and all so everyone take down one one bullet point that will help you that is enough we don't have to write any paragraph just a bullet point whatever i'll be trying to share and other people are sharing ki what is business partner anyone wants to share your knowledge what is business partner and why it is trending today so if we need the running the business means need some asset so uh, people are asset in the business that's the reason okay one of the business partner okay but what is business partner hr <laughs> what is business partner hr why they have given the name business partner hr try everyone make yeah. mistake this platform is to make mistake and learn hr business HR. partner is not, not an employee uh, if you see from broader perspective though he is an employee but he acts as an independent body and he acts as a bridge between the employee and the employer employee and the employer so what okay no problem go ahead good next more come on everyone share one more point two point sir hr need to take an additional mile uh, additional mile he has to take additional mile to be partner with the business people and communicate these business expectations with the people so that everything will be in the same line so for that this role is needed i feel no problem so can we anyone last want to try hari uh, amit ji hari ji was trying yes, yes. Uh, tell me good evening Amit to Ji. everyone uh, first of all and uh, it just like a transformation of hr role previously currently we are now taking care of all the things in hr only but now mm -hmm. the management also wants the organization that they mm -hmm. should be giving more uh, efforts in the mission yeah. and vision of the company and they should be a strategic partner of for the organization not only their role has to to expand nowadays so that is my no understanding problem. no issue at all so today we'll clear okay, now if everyone be on mute so before i go to the uh, part i want to clear one thing in your company suppose there is a business partner hr clear in your company anyone who is handling business partner hr may not be the actual business partner hr i'll give you one small example let's say i have around 50 people i have around 50 people i am taking one person or uh, as a business partner hr and giving him a job of something else why i am giving the designation to attract the talent how many people understood the concept to attract the talent i'm giving a designation of business partner hr but making him do something else 
this is also possible how many people agree so you want a manager you come and work like a manager but actually you are not working as a manager but you are working something else this is what small company are doing they are attracting the talent people should come in that designation but they are not doing that profile so whatever you are doing in your organization may not be 100% business partner hr so nothing wrong nothing right we'll just try to understand the logic and the concept overall can i go ahead write it down in the first step write down this bullet points what i'm trying to share <clears throat> business partner hr cannot be in a smaller company business partner hr cannot be in a very small company so let's why i'm telling we'll go one by one so i'm going to the next very slide i want you people to tell me what is business what does business mean can anyone tell me what does business mean there is only three thing business partner hr so what is business business is what you put in and what you get out of uh, what is input what you put in what you get the output from the input okay anyone else wants to try what does this business mean come on try one one point Any nothing wrong which you are doing on day to day basis uh, with a motive of profit okay so any kind of work that we are doing which create revenue so write it down business is equal to revenue how many people are trying to understand we'll go step by step we have one hour time business is equal to revenue that means what any department any function that gives output that is revenue that one is called business which are is not revenue it is not revenue so we are a support system who who are the front line sales marketing operation whoever the work which people are doing from that when we get money company gets money is called revenue generation department how many people understood that concept so there are two department one is support department and one is revenue generation department who are the support department hr admin and then uh, supply chain finance accounts it purchase everything they are supporting the sales people to get the revenue so we are supporting so whoever is working in a revenue generation department is called business am i very clear with it so business means it is revenue now business means revenue is generated by whom of course human people employee how many people understood revenue who is generating employee are generating now who is bringing the hr who is bringing the uh, employee hr department so let me tell you in a very simple way <clears throat> so business partner hr will go to the next slide so that you will be very clear business and employee business and employee this person becomes a partner would what is business let's take an example of sales department let me take an example of sales department so that is a business department and the employees of the sales department and i am the partner let's say i am the business partner i am an one employee hr person business partner hr is my designation so i am the partner what i am i am the partner one second so now this is the most important one who is business partner big company mnc company who have vast number of employees division companies so you will become a business partner for particular department a particular vertical a particular company now sir what is company 
there are many company who have two three companies working in the same company how many people understood the concept one company three four companies three four companies two companies three companies are working under one umbrella let's say this is my office i own hr topper hr buddy two companies under me example so they are two different companies there may be a division separate division and maybe a plant factory whatever it is so business partner hr becomes a one point contact this is the most important one please write it down what is business partner hr he is a one point contact that is your account manager example in a banking sector he is your one point account manager any problem you go and connect with him so if i am a business partner hr so let's take i am a business partner hr mr webhav is the sales head is the hod of the sales department and you all people 50 people 60 people are the employees of the sales department how many people understood the concept now you are the sales people you are uh, reporting to mr webhav i am the business partner hr so what company does they assign business partner hr to one full department so i become one point contact for mr webber and his team one point contact they will only connect with me and mr webber and if any problem mr webber will also connect with me now here a junior position a fresher one year two year experience please Webo sir, just acknowledge you are a see. Everyone is senior. Do you think a fresher can become a business partner HR? No, 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 not at all. Because it's an a responsible position. Not only responsible, but it's an accountable position. Okay. So, Thank you. And and listen until you grow, mate. You have to have an experience. Then only you can take in charge of uh, you know the HR business partner. You are absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Thank you. So please note, if I'm a business partner HR. i will be working like a partner to mr webhav if mr webhav is an hod that means he will have 10 to 15 years experience logically and if i have 2 years experience 3 years experience can i sit next to him and take decision yes mr webhav what we can do today is this a language can i speak to mr webhav little bit not comfortable agree or not agree let's make it very practical today concept of business partner what why i have conducting this mr webhav sir that uh, people are going and spending lakhs of rupees on a higher education for business partner and who are going mba people i have seen many people are going and taking spending lakhs of rupees on business partner hr especially i have seen freshers because when i speak to for new enrollments they say i have taken a course from xyz xyz but just one question <laughs> education is one thing no doubt about that but for this particular hr business was a, a partner and i personally feel or i say it's an uh, universal we can say that ki he should be have an uh, and not only experience but he should have exposure proper exposure for hr all the department yeah, knowledge absolutely because different different problem will come and uh, as a one point center contact you should have you will have to uh, sort out each and every problem from pin to pin not out. only one from recruitment ah, every departments a uh, problem you have to resolve and if the problem comes to you and if you say ki nahi i'll ask my head and i'll ask the revert to you then you are not the hr business partner how That's many people understood it's not only a responsible position but it's an accountable position chalo great how yeah. many people understood the concept can i sit next to mr webo i having 3 years experience you may not be comfortable and if all the people comes to me for inquiry about recruitment generalist any question and if i don't know do you think i am suitable for business partner hr no so who is business partner hr company a good big company who have many employees so what they do is they assign full vertical full department you are responsible so i'll be responsible for everything so i will start one by one but before i start how many people understood what is business partner hr one point contact for all the hr related activity dear this is very important 
Now, Mr. Webber is in the sales. Any sales problem, I am not involved. But HR related activities, questions, query, problem, resolve, everything is with me. So, Mr. Webber is totally on sales, HR. So, I am the business. What is business? Sales. What is business? Improving the sales. And partner, I am sitting next to him. I am his partner for what? HR activities. How many people understood the concept business, partner, HR? Anyone have any question before I go ahead? Anyone have any question? Can 51 people are there. Why only six people are on the screen? What about others? So that I can see you, watch you, ask you some question. Why you go behind the screen? You have to be the front player. <laughs> Being an HR. Hello. Can I go ahead? Everyone. Can you share your emojis, anything, so that I can go if you are there on the screen? Can I go ahead? Sure. So you are the one point contact. I'm just taking one example as a sales department, just an example, and a employee of the sales. So let's say sales department and 50, 100 people are working. That is 50 or 100 people are working. And I am the business partner for the sales department. <laughs> so if it start with the manpower requirement so the first most important mr webber says anand we have to increase the sales now i want three more people so we both will sit together understand the business and make a manpower requisition that is manpower alignment how many people are there how many people have resigned and how many new people we want so he should have the knowledge of recruitment so the first most important part in the business partner hr is recruitment because without the employee the department cannot run how many people understood the concept without a business sorry without the employee business cannot happen so you become so recruitment becomes the most important part for that what all he should know how to recruit people sourcing people alignment of the interview Understand boss, understand the boss, understand the employee, take the interview, sit with Mr. Weber and take the interview, finalize the interview. Then issue the offer letter. Who will issue the offer letter? Here I will issue. Because it is confidential, offer letter is confidential. So I will issue the offer letter, but I will not issue the appointment letter. Again, understand, I'm a business partner HR, not HR executive. Offer letter I can prepare. Offer letter I can prepare. Even the head HR prepare the offer letter. For whom? HOD people. <laughs> right or wrong? Even the HOD head HR also prepares the offer letter. He don't disclose to anyone, which is secret. So even HR head prepares the offer letter. So even I can prepare the offer letter. Who prepares the offer letter should be the business partner HR. But he will take the signature of head HR. No problem at all. But he will not prepare the resignation letter, appointment letter. Then what he will do? He will ensure the appointment letter is given on time. He will ensure that resignation is given on time. How many people understood the concept? So he is the one point contact and a mediator between the department and the HR, sorry, employee of that department. So what you can learn? So you can learn what is recruitment. Then how to connect people. Telephonic interview, anything, everything related to recruitment is what you will learn from me because I am introducing business partner HR. So you will get the complete knowledge as a layman right from the junior till the my 20 years experience from my perspective till from a junior perspective is what you are going to learn. Then you can go for referral policy. How many people understood the concept? He can do a referral policy. He can do a campus recruitment. He will do the screening, internal, external, everything. Interview tips, how to conduct an interview, then negotiation. He will keep the tracker, everything. Whatever skills, whatever a recruiter, being a recruiter, he should know. That is what the business partner should know. Complete recruitment. So please write it down. The entire process of business partner, the most important one is recruitment. Without the employee, the business cannot run. How many people understood the concept? 
So this is the part of the recruitment. Now he becomes the one point life cycle, employee life cycle. He is not going to do the joining formalities. He will arrange for the joining formality. So let's take an example. <laughs> Miss Manisha is working in HR, my team. Not my reporting team, HR department, my team only. And she is responsible for the joining formalities. Let's say Mr. Santosh is a payroll person. Let's take an example. Santosh is a payroll person in my department. Manisha is the take care of the joining formality. So what I will ensure once the employee comes as a business partner, HR, I will introduce myself. I will make him sit comfortable in the onboarding and I'll do all the complete onboarding. I can be a part of onboarding of my team, especially. I will ensure the appointment letter he gets properly on time, all the forms on time. Whether now Manisha will not meet the employee. I will give all the documents and everything, but I become the mediator. So Manisha will tell Anand, this person has not given so much document. So now here I become a mediator between boss, that is head sales, employees and HR. How many people understood the concept? Boss, that is his boss, employee and the HR. I am the mediator. So I will ensure that person gets all the documentation. His onboarding is done. I can be a part of onboarding. Then what I will do? I will ensure he gets the appointment letter on time. All the formal, that is some registration, whatever the process of onboarding, I will ensure. Then I will do the background verification. I'll be responsible for the documentation of background verification. I will do the reference check. Personal file I will not do, but any documents I want, I will do that. Any documents if you want, I will do that. But I should have the knowledge of personal file. Then for confirmation, I'm not going to prepare a confirmation letter. No, but I should have the knowledge of the confirmation letter. So if I tell you in very single language, the head HR is a partner for all the department. How many people agree? Head HR is partner for all the department. Business partner HR is the head HR for a particular department. So head HR and business partner equally important. So after head HR, the next important one is business partner HR, but only for the specific department. I am the boss. How many people understood the concept? For that particular department function vertical, I am the boss. So I will be responsible for the confirmation process. I will be the evaluation part. So you should know what is confirmation. In case of transfer process, I will be aligned with that. Mediclaim question, anything, any question related to Mediclaim, they can come to me. All the exit formalities, they will come to me. I will take the exit interview. I will take the exit interview, but I am not going to prepare the uh, resignation letter or experience letter. But I will ensure that he gets the, uh, the resignation letter and experience letter. I will be responsible for the attrition documentation. How many people understood the employee life cycle? I am not going to do the work of that clerical work of making letters, but I will ensure that my team member, that is, who is my team now? Sales department. He gets everything. How many people understood the concept now? <clears throat> he should know the knowledge of the employee life cycle also. You are, that is what I always say to Amit sir. Whatever you are learning from me, you are not going to do that work. But that learning will help you to control that work. If everyone knows how to do, then that is enough to control people. Clear who are subco concept? Can I go ahead? Uh, I have a question. I'm sorry to interrupt please. here. Yeah, please tell me. My name is Ruby and uh, I'm so sorry that I'm not in place to switch on my camera. Ruby, yes, Ruby. Here, uh, here my question is, as you mentioned, it's clear the point like uh, head HR and business partner and the respective department. Here we are taking examples of sales HOD. In between the point of HR, like uh, other HR person. So now my question is here, let's you are, uh, you know, I am an, a business partner and that self department HOD and I'll be ensuring all the process of recruitment, employee life cycle 
where process is happening or not background so in between like uh, you know i am a char business partner means or in my team i need to hire few hrs in my specific or in general for uh, like you know other departments also no, no, like no 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 so suppose we are 10 pe uh, three people four people or five maximum five people in hr team so one okay. person is payroll one hmm. person is handling recruitment one person is doing generalist so they are also our team okay so, so i will ensure hmm. let's say you are the person who prepare the appointment letter in our company hmm. so hmm. i will ensure that you give the hand over the appointment letter to me and i will hand over to the uh, concerned okay. my department team okay so okay i so... will not recruit uh, my hmm. myself i am not going to recruit hmm. for my team no our team is hr so i am also part of hr but i am a business partner as well so i will be little senior so whatever i will tell you to prepare this letter that letter you will prepare to me okay so so it's main like hr partner is the separate for verticals but hr generalist or back end jo hr support team is there that they may help to different multiple hr business partner also they'll be going to help you out Like, like for example i am not going to process the salary mr santosh yeah. will process the salary but if any query comes to me mm. i will mm. go to santosh and resolve that issue okay so the santosh will might be able to take like you know two hr partners also right no, Ma- no problem yes yes he can take okay yes. so that's what my question okay got that it that again uh, sorry to interrupt but that again is depend on the size of the organization and size of the people correct if you okay. appoint some some other uh, hr partner for particular business so okay. if you have lots of function for example i tell you lux unilever example i am taking example so that you unilever there is a lux there is a life boy you know the lux department is totally different life boy department is totally different aerial different vimbar different so one business partner will be for aerial for vimbar for close up whatever it is like that am hmm. i clear because yes, that's a yes. huge big department yes got it so yes i become a business partner for that particular team only but i have many other people working behind me one person for recruitment santosh is for payroll someone is doing letters admin suppose you are making the visiting card you are hmm. from purchase hmm. so i will connect you for that work correct got it got it yeah got that thank idea you. everyone yes yes chalo thank you so much thank you so here <clears throat> what i am going to teach you in this course you will able to prepare the offer letter onboarding how to do the background verification reference check all this whatever i have written is what you are going to learn under the employee life cycle from the junior level till my second third comes the any query related to payroll anything any query but you should be in a position to handle it if someone asks why this calculation is wrong sir can you help me in the income tax ki how to save money anything but you should be in a position to know that what exactly the problem is you should know how to prepare the offer letter calculation a uh, pf calculation esic calculation because you are going to issue the offer letter so here you can also learn you should be you will be doing the leave attendance people will come to you for the statutory compliance part issue what is bonus gratuity maternity notice period leave in cashment so here you can learn the payroll part you are going to learn and he should have the payroll knowledge also then comes the compliance part yeah. people will come to you only any case of maternity issue gratuity issue anything you will be responsible for that then comes the income tax related sir how to fill this form we like get the form 16 what are the standard deduction anyone can ask any question so after learning this you will be in a position to prepare the entire payroll process manually and guarantee you will have more knowledge than your boss this is what you are going to learn only payroll is more than 100 hours of practical knowledge then ms office i don't have to tell you 95% you are on the laptop taking only doing only excel powerpoint now in business partner you should have a good knowledge of powerpoint because you will be making the powerpoint presenting to mr weber and my head hr and what you have done in this month what is your progress so powerpoint is very important and can anyone tell me which one is the most important 
which one is the most important in this? Can you give me the rating? Yeah, yes, sir. Can I? Yes. So, may, so if you are in payroll, sir, Excel is No, important. no, I'm a business partner, HR. Okay. Which one is important? So, means, so word is important. Next. Anyone? After PowerPoint. PowerPoint. The first one. Outlook. Come on, uh, others. PowerPoint. So PowerPoint. All are important. PowerPoint. The first very important is Outlook mm -hmm. because you are going to only do mailing, 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 mailing. That is the first most important part. So this includes what? If you want to know Outlook, what is the most important part? Which skill is important? Writing skill. Typing. Typing. <laughs> no. Which skill is the most important skill for Coms? Outlook? You are a good you written communication skill. Email skills. writing. To reply and draft skills. emails. Written communication skills. Communicational skill. Please write it down. Business partner oh, HR should be very good in communication. communication. Can you please be on mute? Please be. Can I go ahead? Everything is important. Thus, I'm giving the just a rating. This is one. Okay. Second is these two. Because you're going to work in Excel data. You have to give only two things. MIS report, MIS report. And then comes the PowerPoint. This is the third third most important part. Uh, so because uh, Nayan, we are not going to prepare any kind of letter. So we don't come into this part of work. Okay. So yeah. nothing wrong. But definitely you should have the knowledge. But I'm giving the priority one so that you can start yeah. learning. Can I go ahead, everyone? So here you will learn approximately 45 hours of the MS Office course, which includes only related to HR. Yeah. 45 hours is only related to HR. You are going to learn from HR Topper. Got it, dear? Chalo, let's move to the next one. Then comes the other part. What is other part? You will be responsible for the absentism. Why people are absent? Why people are taking leaves? Why they are late? So you have to take a disciplinary action. So you should know warning letter. You should know something about PIP, Performance Improvement Plan. This is very, very important. Then exit interview, grievance, any issues related to that department, you should know. What is training and development work? Anyone can explain? Key, what is as a business partner HR, what this does mean? What is the role of training and development? So basically, if a new freshers join the organization, they need to train them and development is as in when there are already people existing in the organization, something new comes, so they need to upgrade themselves. So that is called development. So they need to make Next. ensure this thing happen. Next. To provide software and technical knowledge to the staff. So we have to identify where his performance is. Please be on mute. Who is that? Chetan. Thank you. Chetan. Be on mute, dear. Yeah, so uh, I'm giving in a simple way, nothing wrong. Okay, whatever you have said is correct. I'm just adding to it. What is training and development? We are a mediator. So as a business partner HR, I have to identify which employee requires training. Whether suppose Chetan, Chetan is not performing. So what I will do, I will say, Rahul, Chetan, you go and report to Rahul for two weeks. Go with him, be with him and learn from him. Example I'm telling so I will be a person who will be trying to know whom, uh, which employee requires training and development and what kind of training. So we have to identify the training. How many people understood the concept? So I will not take a call. I will suggest with the help of the sales head and HR head, we will finalize what kind of training is required. So I am a suggestion box to my boss. My boss is HR head. How many people understood the concept? Training and development. Then, warning letter. I, I should be in a position to draft the policy. Yes, I can draft the policy. I can prepare a handbook. You will learn out here also. So, you, you will learn each and every part. Now, what is PMS? I am not going to make any PMS, but I will be a part in the PMS process for my department. How many people understood the concept? Let's say sales department performance appraisal is going on. So what I will do? I will sit with the person. I will be a part of every, every question, answer or any discussion meeting with my team. 
I will sit with Mr. Weber and I will be a partner for everywhere. Every decision what Mr. Weber is going to take, I will be a part of it, not only related to PMS, anything. So do you think a fresher can go and sit with him along for the PMS? No, not at all. So please note, if you are getting a position and what have, after what will happen when you go for other interview, people will say you have two years experience, you are working as a business partner, HR. it's an insult. Weber said that day I told, nah, I got a call from two and a half year girl and she's a vice president HR. I was shocked. I said, what is your age? 25. And she's a vice president HR. She said it's a small company and they have given the designation. Uh, this is vice absolutely president. vice president HR. I asked the age to verify whether she had some other experience. It can be, no? It can oh be. God. But she said only uh, 25. Yes, Chetan. So sometimes the qualification oh, should be matter, na? So the, the college she is had studied. What what qualification? For being HRVP. If, no, uh, he's saying that he must have, she must have learned from a good institute. She, nee, nee, my right question is, she is only two years, two and a half years experience. Yeah. Can she become a vice president HR? You know what is vice president? It is actually yeah. senior than head HR. <laughs> Absolutely. It's much bigger. What is head HR HOD? And vice president is much senior than head HR. And she's only two and a half years. Just because a small company has given the designation, Chetan, tell me, I'm a startup company. I'll give you anything. You do my work and you go. Yes, sir. Absolutely. But that will harm. That will really harm her life because next when she go for a company and she asks for a president, she again goes to an executive level. What she will feel? She will first day only, she will get demotivated. So please, friends, whoever is watching, do not accept senior position. It is not correct. When I went, uh, Weber, sir, I got one opportunity. I'd known people. So it's a startup company and uh, my name is in the Shole 3D movie as a floor supervisor. So uh, it was a uh, company into 3D, uh, 3D. So she said, Anand, which designation, what designation you want? You make your own letter. I said, manager HR. She said, why? I said, I'm an assist, uh, deputy manager, so I want only manager. I don't want much bigger than that. Because after deputy manager, it is manager. I could have taken the general manager position, but I have not taken because that is not correct. It is easy to gain general, general manager designation. But when I go to a new company, there I will not be general manager. People will, people will feel, you know, uh, the X, Y, Z. Am I clear? So what you learn designation today, should also be matched with your experience and exposure. Absolutely. Yeah. Your level. Very, very important. Yeah. So don't be happy if you get a very big position. You should be ashamed of it. You should feel, do you have that knowledge? So Sir, I never yes. went for that. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, Mr. Rahul. Position is also changed based on your age also. Because on the position of HR head and vice president HR, the maturity is most important what decision you are taking. If the HR head has to terminate a particular employee, the maturity should have that HR head that what happened with that employee, he has to investigate properly and he has to go deep inside. So maturity, based on the maturity, these positions require. In my so opinion. wise, Thank definitely you. senior person requires age, knowledge, education, I cannot say, but knowledge and the maturity level, decision-making powers. Am I clear, everyone? So what you learn, never accept the senior position if you are not capable of. So I always say, the first thing when you see in a new company is your JD, not designation, not salary. Always focus on JD. Money will come to you. If you go behind the money, <laughs> money will not come to you. Go behind the JD. Chalo, let's go to the next one. So here you are going to learn all the other part in HR also. Second, you are going to learn the skill from my level. I will teach you the etiquettes, what etiquette a person should have if he's a business partner HR. Now I want to tell you friends, whatever you learn from my knowledge, you are not going to become head HR or anything. You are not going to get success. You're going to get success only with your own habit on the qualities that you are having. I'll give you a small example. Don't feel bad. Nothing wrong. I told everyone to come on the screen. But why people didn't stay on the screen? That is what they are. But many people are there who may not be able to come. That is not an issue. But I'm telling who is possible and who was there earlier 
now he has off the screen why that is called process when i am on the screen and you are there that you are going to see this video you are there on the live session why you are not on the live that is what you are so you are not right or wrong but the moment you switched off the uh, video you are not right that is your quality that is your growth now compare whoever have switched off where you are standing today that is your answer to that so nothing wrong but i want you people to change you have to change your comfortable zone otherwise you will never get success again i am telling with my knowledge you are not going to success, get success it is if you have your sorry you will get success only with your own habit your attitude your behavior your approach your feeling how many people understood the concept it is your feeling it is what you are so what exactly i'll be your mentor this is the most important part which will make you senior knowledge is just 5% how many people have seen the attitude the eyes on the top and the down layer attitude wala layer the maximum is uh, is the below the surface area so this is the most important part which will make you a senior person knowledge is very important but if you don't know how to execute the knowledge then it is of no use how many people understood the concept so anyone has switched off the camera nothing wrong dear don't take it person i'm just giving an example those who were able to come but still they are not coming this is what you are so nothing wrong i just gave the live example don't take it personally i am a trainer i have to show you the reality if you change i'll be more happy how many people agree to this you are happy so nothing wrong <clears throat> so here you are going to learn the qualities the communicational skill negotiation presentation hiring it is just Seventy uh, percent, what I'm uh, disclosing here, the uh, rest everything is experience. <laughs> now, what is the difference between business partner and head HR? I told you that business partner is a head HR for a particular department, vertical division, but head HR is for the entire company. Am I clear? So you are very clear with this. Now, friends, that was the role and responsibility which we have launched a business partner HR with. 250 hours of practical knowledge and the technical skill of execution so not only you are going to learn the way you are going to do how to execute is also you are going to learn from my perspective so it contains maximum part of hr only analytical part i'm trying not to cover but you will get maximum knowledge about this the position if you are in business partner what exactly you should be so from the junior level till my level you are going to learn everything as a business partner so now what you should know you should do how to do and what to do very practically 20 years experience is more than enough to tell you what exactly you have to do so it's a recorded session videos which i have already conducted so i have divided all the Uh, videos into department wise so that you learn focus one year access you will get and all the live session whatever i'll be conducting related to the business partner you will be able to come further i'm you will be added into my student group and you will get the access for so one year uh, access to all the recorded videos fees i have decided 21000 emi is available you can pay 3000 4000 per month and you can learn so nothing wrong see what is coach can anyone tell me what is coach why virat kohli name is coming why not coach name is coming because how many people know because sachin tendulkar name is coming yes he, he has done the hard work and dedication the coach has just trained him he has just shown the path but to walk on the path it's on his i mean his call coach is giving i'll tell you what i'm going to give you now listen this word which will change your perspective how many people know the person has made a bulb anyone who knows who have made the bulb Th thomas edison thomas edison now let's assume i am the thomas edison example i spent years and years for the research to produce that bulb agree or not agree now i got the formula for it now what he will do 
suppose you are my son example you are my son or daughter will i tell you to go and do 20 years research then i will give you the formula or i'm going to give you the formula directly and start your business what is the motive what i will do will i tell you to go and research the way i spent my life or i'm going to give you the final formula come on tell me what i will do final what formula. your father will do how final. many people agree that I, your father will give you the final formula what reliance ambani did to his son he has given the final formula to him now he will take it to the next level so what i am going to give you is what i have learned in 20 years where you don't have to spend 20 years knowledge is only one minute time if i tell you 2 plus 2 is 4 that is enough <laughs> knowledge is that so i am going to share my final formula where you don't have to spend that much years to gain that knowledge that is what i how many people understood the concept of bulb what you're going to learn <laughs> so money is not an issue as a coach what i want the person who is willing to work what is coach expectation when he recruit for a match? Someone who is crazy to no no fight. Someone who is very crazy and love, passion to do that work. Coach will be very happy to train that person. Now Rahul says, Merkuna, I, I just came because my father has told to join the cricket. What coach will do? Whatever he will teach, he will not learn. So what I want is, I want someone who really want to learn, who should have the pa passion to learn. Then I will be very happy. Just because fees is less, just because I will try, don't come. It is of no use. Coach will be happy only when he gets a best player. For that best player, he has to do lots of research. So if you are willing to invest time, then only you should come. Because today, what is the biggest problem? Don't have time. I'll tell you the live example. We are having more than 1,500 people. Only 42 people are there. Why? Is there any problem? No. Time issue. Because people think it is a time issue. But actually, it is not. Everyone is getting 12 hours. You are not working more than 12 hours. I can prove myself. How many people say you work every day for 12 hours? No. If you are not working for 12 hours, that means you are getting 12 hours. And for sleeping, 6 hours is enough. That means you have 6 hours for yourself. Why can't you take 1 hour? Those who are taking 1 hour is going faster than you. So nothing wrong. We all are arm admin. Simple mango man. Clear? So for you, EMI is okay. If you are happy, definitely you come. You will get a business partner HR certificate from my side. Certificate is just waste. Knowledge is important so that it has a value. Your knowledge will add value to my certificate, not my knowledge. How many people understood the concept? My knowledge will not add value to the certificate. Your knowledge will add value to my certificate. If I am teaching you are not listening, it's not my it's not my mistake, dear. So <clears throat> you will get a certificate. It's an acknowledgement acknowledgement that you have done the course knowledge is inside your brain you will get ample lots of notes templates which you can start immediately in your organization along with that you get resume writing interview tips hr guideline and my 200 hr tips which is worth more than 12,001 crore also that tips no one is going to give second you are going to get this as i said one year access it's not one month so i'll skip this you are going to get format template sop also to my access to my library you're going to get access to my library also you will get format agreement policy all the toolkits whatever their icons template infographic everything you will be added to my whatsapp student group nothing anyone wish to learn the knowledge which it took me 15 20 years to learn if you want in one year and you are ready to struggle, what is struggle? Take, taking time. Then you can join this course. You can call me on my personal number. If you want, you can note down this number. You can call any time. No issue. So anyone have any question can ask me about business partner HR or any query, you can come. So all the, those people who are watching on the YouTube channel can call me on this number. Anyone have any query? Sir, I have a doubt. You have... Anyone have any query? Those who have, before that, those who have taken the HR, uh, HRM course, full course, they, it's a part of 
uh, that course, so nothing wrong. Others can go for it. Yes, um, sir, uh, Rahul. There is one more course you have that is HR manager. So syllabus is same or different? That is HR manager course is different and HR business partners uh, syllabus is HR different. HR business partner is not different, but you will get additional information. For example, you have taken Rahul, let's say recruitment you have taken. So that even he has to learn. So you can take additional little bit. That's it. So as I told, now, HR man, HR, HRM course people do not take because it is a part of the course. And HR, HRM course is a full course of 15 subjects. So business partner one is just one. And you know, surprisingly, it's only 30,000. So I don't charge 1 lakh, 2 lakh or 3 lakh. Very simple, 30,000. Hello, anything related to business partner, you can ask me. About course, you can ask me personally. I'm not doing marketing. People will think this is marketing. I don't want to get into that. Anyone? So can we, how many people understood the concept of business HR? Can 36 people come on the screen for the last two minutes before I end up? Achha, Sushma is also there. Nice to see you. Chalo, after a long time, my old people have come. Chalo, great. How many people understood the concept of business HR? Can anyone tell me about the wow? Any one person, what was wow for you? Which part you uh, you, you, don't, mujhe... you don't prepare the offer letter. I just, I mean, make sure that offer letter has been prepared. I thought he must be making offer letter. Like He is making an offer letter. That, well, that is what I said. As a business partner, HR, I will make offer letter. Because no, offer he... letter is secret part. No, as in he's, he's not you know preparing other experience letter or that. He's just making sure that... Uh -huh. will... Letters he will not prepare. Offer yes. letter becomes little secret. Yes. Next. Anyone who can share wow means uh, something very new you learned. It was wow for you. Which moment it was? Hi, Anand. Hello. Am I audible? Chalo. So thank you so much. Anyone interested can call me on this number anytime. See you very soon with a new lecture. Thank you. Chalo. Bye. Sorry, Any question? Any question? Yes, Sushma? I missed this lecture. I joined uh, late. Today. Chalo. No problem at all. I'll upload on the YouTube. You can watch. No problem. Yes, yes. Thank you Chalo. so much. Yes. Bye. Chalo. Thank you. Thank you.